afternoon and welcome to another afternoon of medieval engineering. Today I'm showing one of my work in progresses. This is a Barbican, this is a fortified medieval tower and gatehouse system. We have windows all around, normally there'd be arrow slits but we don't have those yet in this game. Those can fire along the wall or on anyone attacking the gatehouse. Normally, and this is going to be added in later, I'm going to cut the ground here away. We will add in a basically a drawbridge to here. That will block this central arch. As you can see, anyone trying to attack it would be fired upon from these windows. We also have a double portcullis and gate system, which is already in place. This um, window would be able to fire on anyone attacking this portcullis once the drawbridge was down. Likewise, these two windows, unfortunately, they're a little uh, behind the tracks because of the game system. Would fire on anyone operating trying to break through this second portcullis. As you can see there's also murder holes in the ceiling. Last set of windows, be able to fire on anyone attacking these gates. We'll work our way through these gates. I'm sorry that they are a little bit stiff. They've literally just been put in. And at the minute I need to trim the hinges down because they're hanging a bit awkwardly. And shutting a bit awkwardly typically. I'll show you these later because I do have a locking mechanism on these. Yeah, there we go. Take flying mode off and it works a lot better. Right. That is the locking mechanism for the gate. I'll show you that in a minute. Each side of the tower has, of course, the arrow slits for firing in upon anyone. Come in. As you can see, you can shoot right the way down the wall. Next level up, murder holes. Oh, no, sorry. Next level up, another set of firing positions. Level after that, uh, the... Unfortunately, the stairs are on the other side of the wall, so I'll just cheat and use this. We have the murder holes. What I'm actually going to do is cut some of this flooring out and put a chute up to the next level. And we're going to have a rock run on there. Simply pull a handle, the rocks drop. Here we have the third level. This is the portcullis control room. As you can see, you can lower and raise each portcullis here and that will drop those down. These two large archways here are going to be a slight overhang and that will be our drawbridge controls. Last and final level, we're going to put another rock run in here. This one will be diagonal. It will have a simple pull handle. Pull it and you're going to drop rocks on anyone trying to break down any of the gates. Here is our locking system for the um, gates here. Let me just lower this down. This beam simply lowers into place and it should, as you can see, drop in and these doors are now locked. They're clamped by that beam. If we go around the front, I'm going to jump over the walls here. We can see that around the front all the portcullises have been lowered not quite all the way and they are at a slight angle. I will be improving those to a two rope system later. At the minute they're only on one. And the gates are firmly shut. Once that drawbridge is up you will have four layers of defence for the gatehouse. And of course the gate was the weakest point being usually wood studded with uh, iron nails. The rest of it was stone. I know currently in the game it's quite easy to get through stone. However I'm hoping they'll change that. And we can have ourselves a true fortified gatehouse. Um, I hope you liked this and keep an eye out. I will be finishing off this work in progress. Thank you very much for having a look.